my dreams have actually come true. I'm currently sitting with snow around me in my car. Not much snow, but I think I said in last week's vlog, I was really hoping it was gonna snow at some point. And it has today. I mean, literally, you see my sister's car, there's barely anything. But I'm hoping that there'll be so up on the downs. So I live in Sussex, which is like near the South Downs, which are like these hills, there's some famous hills down here. And obviously, because they're higher up, I'm thinking they might have some snow. So I'm gonna meet Ella now, grab a little hot chocolate, you know, as per that we always do. And then I'm thinking we might have a walk up the downs, maybe because she lives a little bit closer to them than I do. Like I live quite a while away, I'd have to drive. But she can walk where she lives. Um, Right, I realise I've got no mascara on. I have packed it because I'm just going to put it on when I get to her house because I wanted I wanted to like get to hers before it's too late. I also feel like I look like my mum with this hairstyle, very 1970s. I know this is all the rage right now, but I just look weird. I feel like when I look at myself in the viewfinder, I'm like, oh my god, I look like Samantha Hart. Anyway, right, let's get on with the day. My hands are freezing. Oh my god, let's turn that heat up. Oh, typical me for getting my mask. I've had to get Ella to get the coffee. Look at that timing. Thank, Thank you, hon. <laughs> it's so cold today. I actually can't even begin to explain. Like, it's freezing. I've got my mum's really ugly gloves on. I hate these gloves. I need to invest in some new ones. <laughs> you look quite like, you're very colour coordinated. I've dressed nicely Thank today. You. Like, I, you can't really see my outfit because I did want to get a picture in the snow. There's no snow in Henry. Oh, right. Yeah. You press o. I pressed O. Okay, cool. Oh, I don't know if you pressed O. I, I didn't see what you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, no one wants that. Um, currently in a tree, sheltering from the wind, which you can probably hear. It's really loud. But um, it's getting very cold. I can't lie. It's really cold. But this walk has been lovely. I'll just show you the view before there's any like noise from the wind coming in. So we've got like these lakes here, which aren't actually lakes their fields but because it floods because obviously we live by the downs and this is like the lowest bit all the water trickles down so it's just like loads of little lakes and they've been some of them are frozen some of them aren't frozen um and then we're in this burnt this burnt tree i don't know how it got burnt we're thinking maybe i don't know what were we thinking lightning. yeah it could be lightning Ooh. oh oh <laughs> um lightning maybe maybe someone just burnt oh, it no. What are you doing? Oh, piece of gum. Really gross Gosh, yeah, sorry, but my face is so close to the camera. Gosh, my hands We're are freezing. We're in a pandemic, I probably shouldn't eat that, should I? <laughs> well, the floor hasn't got COVID. True. It's probably your safest place. <laughs> I think we've spotted a hawk over here. Oh, did it just fly yeah. off? Oh. I wonder if it'll come back. That was mental, it was huge. Up there and I wonder if it will we'll fly back in must have. Um. Please come back. Let's go up there and have a look. Can't find the hawk, but honestly, it was huge. Just found a little bench here now. I think we'll buy a girl guide hut. It's probably not really meant to be here, but. Huh? The view is just lovely. I'm really jealous of where you live, to be quite honest, because this is so nice. Back home now, and I've tried, I don't know if you saw it in the last clip, but I had like really watery eye. It happens all the time whenever i go outside it's really annoying so i've tried to fix it a little bit and try and like top up the eyeliner i don't know how i feel about my curly hair because i mean i've had my hair straight now i'm gonna prop you up here just so i can have a chit chat and hold it up okay hopefully you can see me i've got my giant light next to me um yeah i don't know how i feel about the curly hair because i had it straight now for i mean it's probably been about the last month and I don't know, I've been trying to brush it out because I feel like it's a little bit too curly. But I don't know, maybe it's just that I don't see myself with curly hair very often. Because it's like, I need it to be voluminous here, but I don't want it to be too voluminous at the bottom. And I watch some of my old YouTube videos and look at some of my old Instagram photos when I have curly hair. And I'm actually like, that doesn't even look very nice. So I don't really know. I don't know how I feel. I'm just going to try and give myself some volume. I'm, um actually just doing myself some dinner oh god it just looks so big I'm doing myself some dinner and then i'm gonna film my boohoo haul so that's why all my lights and bits and bobs are out i've also got all the piles of clothes there it's gonna be quite a late one today but i guess i've kind of taken the whole day off really like i didn't really do much work today so just gotta catch up and do it now 
but yeah i'm hoping i'll be able to get it done quite quickly there is like 20 items which is a lot but i find that my boohoo hauls go a lot quicker than like say if i was filming an h&m haul or zara haul so the last so the h&m haul which was the one before the boohoo one on my main channel that took me hours i don't know why it just took me ages but boohoo i just find that i don't know i just find this stuff easier to talk about maybe i don't know it's really weird but I think my dinner's probably gonna be ready now. I've not eaten anything today. Like, that's shocking. I had my hot chocolate, and that's all I've eaten. Oh, and I had a couple of cookies, because Ella made some cookies, and that's it. Like, that's shocking. So, big dinner is needed. Film the boohoo haul. I'm really hoping I'm not gonna be bloated, because I'm about to eat a load of chicken and rice, but you know what? I'm hungry, so I want it. Um, so yeah, okay, right. Let's get, let's get on with it. I'm thinking of having a no makeup day today just because obviously where it's like freezing cold outside and snowing, it's actually snowing a little bit now, this is really exciting. Um, because it's been snowing and then I obviously am like outside in the snow, coming back to warm temperatures. I think my skin is basically like, what the hell are you doing? I'm just gonna get a load of spots to piss you off today. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm hoping that if I don't wear makeup that they won't brew because I really don't want to deal with that later on this week um okay i'm just trying to think what i want to do in today's vlog i've had a lot of pr packages show up so i feel like i want to show you guys some of them or just like a few i won't show you all of them but i'll show you just a few of the ones that you know just the nice ones the extra nice ones but um i'm gonna head downstairs now just to do myself a smoothie we just had the acardo order show up and i feel like we've had more flavors of the little moon show up as well which is very exciting i don't i still don't know how my mum's managing to get them it's really quite impressive so yeah i'm gonna go down make my smoothie if everything's clear i don't know if i think i've shown you how i make my smoothie on the blog but i will i'll film myself just i'll show you the ingredients in case you are new to the channel because i don't think i've done it since the summer like shown it on a on a vlog so yeah it's just a nice healthy way to like kick start the day um especially like i need to feel good inside because on the outside i just feel like a slob at the moment i don't know what it is oh, i just i'm so sorry i'm just having a moaning moment when i curl my hair i feel like it looks really really dark because like my roots and stuff so i'm just i'm just not feeling my best on the outside so i've got to make myself feel good on the inside which is the main thing anyway Okay, so mum's decided to buy out all the rice cakes that Ocado has. Apparently some are for my nanny who can't get hold of them. How many does nanny want? Six? Six packets? Oh my god, that's a lot. Is there, are any for us? Are they all for nanny? Oh my gosh. <gasps> that's so funny. And then this is everything else that we've got. Oh, well, like, the, oh my gosh. Oh, push the boat out. What are they? Lindor orange. Ooh, oh, these are so good. Belgian milk chocolate. What else have we've got? Cream slices. I'm just looking at all the unhealthy stuff. There's a lot of unhealthy stuff today, Mum. Not really. Mm. Oh, what's this? Hickory smoked cheddar and crispy bacon. <gasps> Oh, I bet they are really good. The sensations. What am I looking at? Oh, the Hello Moons. Oh, you did get the vanilla. Oh, they said actually that, um... Oh, lovely. Okay, so we've just... Okay, so the vanilla one is the new one. Hang on, let me show you. Where should I put them? So we've got the passion fruit and mango, which is my personal fave. Then just the regular mango which i didn't like as much i'm not gonna lie but i know people love it and then the vanilla which is a new one haven't tried this before but i saw a tiktok and this girl was like this is actually the best flavor i mean i don't know i don't know if i can be swayed away from the passion fruit and mango but i'm very excited to try these and i will try them on camera for you again just so you can see my live reaction but <gasps> so excited Sad news is there's no strawberries, so I can't make my smoothie. But for lunch, I'm making myself the cheese and chicken like wrap pizza thing that my sister made last year. Not last year, last week. So hopefully I've done a good job. I did burn it the other day. I put one on my Instagram and it looked really crap. So hopefully this will look a bit better. So you put it in there for maybe like five, six minutes. I don't want to get it too burnt. I just want it to be nice and crisp and delicious. So I left it in the oven for probably around five to six minutes because I noticed that this was kind of getting a bit burnt around here. The cheese isn't fully melted, but it does look really, really good and it tastes amazing. 
Okay, it's time to try the Little Moons Mochi Vanilla flavour. I've had it resting. It says five minutes, but after five minutes it didn't feel squishy enough, so I've left it for like 10. So hopefully it will be enough now. Oh my God, okay, I'm so excited. Oh wow, okay. Okay, that is actually unreal. Mmm, that actually rivals the passion fruit. Oh my god, that is absolutely delicious. If you can get hold of the vanilla, definitely do it. Like, that is so good. I'm actually shocked about how nice that is. Oh, lovely. Earlier this morning, I had the most beautiful PR package show up from, I think it's called Yodge. It's Joy, spelt backwards, but I think you pronounce it as Yodge. Um, so, I'll show you these two. So, there's this gorgeous necklace. I've been looking for one of these necklaces for ages just because they're really simple you can just wear them with any outfit and then i really like this one because it's kind of well it's in the shape of a body but it gives me like those body candle vibes which are all the rage at the moment and then they also sent over this ring please excuse my horrible looking hand oh why won't you focus okay there we go so this is the ring it's really cool because it's kind of like got this lifted bit here i love it but yeah, do excuse the crusty, dusty hands. I need to paint my nails ASAP. I can't remember if I spoke about this in last week's vlog. I don't think I did. Um, but this is the new Misguided Beauty range, which I've heard so many things about. I've heard really, really good things about the foundation. They've actually sent over three shades, which literally all look the same, even though they're not. So I'm going to try these out. I think I'm going to try it out tomorrow. And they've also sent over this freckle pen. How cool is that? I've never done freckles on myself, but I feel like I really want to because I've got quite a wonky nose. So I feel like... I can like put freckles on and hopefully it'll distract from the uh, from the wonk. But yeah, there's just so many products here. What is this here? Lids this is oh it's an eyeshadow. How cute. Wow, this is actually one of the worst looks I've worn, but this hat is just so warm and cozy. Mum and I are gonna go on a little walk, try and get a few thousand steps in today because I've literally not done anything at all um but it's so cold outside it's like minus one although it is sunny these days are actually some of my favorites where it's like really sunny but quite cold i mean i love a warm sunny day that's my favorite but second favorite is a day like this because it just looks so lovely and everything feels really crisp like the air feels very clean but also very cold Oh, I just wanted to film the golden hour lights because it's so gorgeous. It actually almost makes, look at that, makes it look almost autumnal in a way. It's really, really lovely. And the sun has come out. Oh, so nice. Gosh, that man's got so much further ahead than us. Wow. Oh my gosh, the worst vlogger of the year award should go to me because it's actually the next day now and it's about 6 p.m. And I literally, I actually kind of forgot that I was vlogging this week. So I haven't really, yeah, I haven't really picked up the camera or done anything. I haven't done it much today. I've not even really been on Instagram stories. I've just kind of had a chilled one. I'm feeling very uninspired at the moment. So hopefully that will change soon because I feel like I need to be chatting on stories. It's not good to, to not do it. But I thought I'd pop the camera on now because I'm actually folding up some stuff for Zara video which i'm going to be filming in the next hopefully in the next couple of hours i hope it's not going to take me long but i feel like i've been buying a lot of stuff recently and my videos just get longer and longer so i think i've got maybe like is it 15 items but i really love filming zara hauls because i feel like everything looks really good like i never really have a product from zara where i'm like that's not nice and i feel like some of my like recent videos I've kind of had a few issues with the pieces, but I know that this is going to be a really good one. And it's actually probably one of my favourites as well, like in terms of the stuff. Like there's lots of nice transitional pieces, but also like lots of winter stuff. So it's a good mix if you guys are going to watch this like now, or if you're going to watch this at the end of Feb, beginning of March. I feel like all the pieces are going to work quite well. So yeah, I actually have kind of forgot what I bought. What's this? Oh, this is the Yale jumper. Oh, I wish I bought that in a bigger size oopsie but that's quite cute it's got like embroidered lettering which is actually quite nice because i feel like at the moment everyone loves a print on a sweatshirt or a hoodie and i always find that they come off so it's quite nice to have a bit of a plique a bit of embroidery but yeah i wish i'd pick that up in like a size large because i did think it was going to be oversized which is just not but that's okay um 
Right, I mean, is there any point of you guys even watching the video? I'm showing you everything now. Look at the size of that gilet. That is a size... Oh, I picked it up in a medium. Look how big that is. It's actually huge. And this is quite affordable, to be honest, for, like, what it is. And if you wear it with, like, a big, chunky jumper, it will look really good. Um, okay, where should I put that? But, yeah, I am looking forward to filming this video. Um, I've also done something a little bit different with my makeup today. I don't know if you can see. I've drawn, like, little freckles on my nose. So, in the misguided beauty, like, makeup thing that I was sent the other day, it had, like, a freckle pen in it. And I've never done freckles before. And I've always wanted them, like, on holiday when I see people come back with, like, their tan and their freckles. It looks so good. So, I've given it a go. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Sorry, my camera cut me off then when I was chatting about freckles. I feel like that's a sign to actually get on with the video. So I'm going to do that. And then I will come back and we can have a bit of a chit chat. I haven't really got much to talk about because literally my life is so boring right now. But we're going we're gonna to try and make it work. I've just had these really gorgeous letterbox flowers arrive from a brand called Love. I think today is actually their launch day. So I'm really grateful that they've sent over this gorgeous bouquet here will soon to be a bouquet i will set it up in a second um so i believe actually one of the things that really attracted me to um receive this lovely package was the fact that all the packaging is sustainable and biodegradable there's nothing that is damaging the planet here and i just think that's great to see especially with um florists and stuff because i can understand like with floristry there can be a lot of waste when it comes to packaging but I mean, these are gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you what they look like in the bouquet, maybe tomorrow, because I might need my help, to, my mum's help, I can't speak. My mum's help to set up the flowers because she's really good at that stuff. But yeah, they're just gorgeous. You know what? I did not even need my mum's help because I feel like I've done a pretty good job here next to the cute daffodils, but I feel like these look really lovely. They've kind of got a wild flower effect. God, they are so beautiful. And who would have thought that like something in this flat small box would look this gorgeous wow i love them oh we are a couple of naughty galleys because we have come to mcdonald's at what time is it nearly 9 pm but you know what it's really busy it is actually really busy on, we deserve this we haven't really done much today to deserve it but i'm just saying that we do i have Oh yeah, Hannah, well, Hannah is on a fitness rampage at the moment. Like, you were literally doing the most. I have done, what have I done? I filmed a Zara haul, that's all I've done. That's actually shocking. Are you holding this for me to have one? Mm. Oh, thank you, babe. Mozzarella dippers, oh my God. These are iconic, absolutely delicious. I've got them down there. Does it come in a sauce or is it just the dippers? Mm. Oh, I also got chicken selects. Really pushing the boat out. So tomorrow is a healthy day. Oh, salsa dip. Oh, this must be what it comes with. Okay. Oh, I can't open it. I honestly was craving McDonald's fries all day. You so. literally have been. Hannah, can you please open this one? I can't do it. I can't, my nails are really weak at the moment. I just took off my gel. Oh, oh got it. Mm -hmm. First world problems. Got it. First world props but we love it. I just realised I've parked in a stupid place because I'm going to really struggle to get around. And they've parked in a stupid place. Mmm, yum. Try the dip. It's kind of spicy. Oh my God, really Do you not hot. like it? It looks fun. Mmm. I actually can't believe I've forgotten this, but Thursdays is UK Drag Race Day and I haven't watched it yet. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanna try and have an early night because I want to, and I know this sounds really embarrassing, but I wanna get out of bed before 9 a.m. tomorrow, which I know is like, that like everyone gets out of bed before 9 a.m., but not me, not me at the moment, and it's embarrassing. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna try and set my alarm for like half eight, get up, get ready for the day, because we've got a big one tomorrow. So I'm doing, I've got a few calls, gotta call the accountant tomorrow again. They've got to ask me questions about stuff, but I mean, if they're going to ask me questions about things that I've bought, like when they go, "What is this Harrods purchase?" I'm going to be like, "I have, I have a bag problem. I can't help it." It's only going to get worse as well. Like, fingers crossed. If this year is a good year in terms of work, I will be buying lots of bags or a few bags, even though I probably need to get another shelf like up there if I need to do that. But anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, I've got that tomorrow, and then. I have, oh, I'm shooting with my sister after about one o'clock. No, at about one o'clock. I'll probably leave the house about one o'clock. 
So I want to plan some outfits for that, but it's going to be freezing cold tomorrow. So I want to plan outfits that, like, you know when it's really cold and you can see it in your face and you're like, you just look miserable. That is what I want to try and avoid tomorrow. So I'm just going to try and plan, like, just really warm, cosy outfits. I also want to shoot something in this because it's like a little valentine's dress and i feel like this would look really really cute with like a little roll neck and some boots so i'm gonna try and find a little place to shoot that but as always i'll bring you guys along with us for the day but I, yeah i'm gonna say goodbye now um goodbye good night you know you know what i mean because i think i'm getting a bit delusional as well i'm just going a bit weird so yeah, I'm going to take my rings off, take my makeup off, and I'll see you in the morning. Hello, hello, good morning. It's a Friday today, and I actually got up a little bit earlier today, or I woke up earlier. I probably didn't really get out of bed until a bit later. But I've had a call with my accountant, which went quite well. So, Hannah and I are going to make the famous baked oats, which have been, like, massive on Instagram and on TikTok recently. I don't know... I don't really know how to do it. Hannah knows how to do it, but we've got like these Quaker oats, almond milk. I might, I don't know whether to use oat milk, whether that'll be too you oaty. Don't taste it. It's okay. just to mix it I just in. don't really like almonds. Oh, I've got hair everywhere. Oh, um, so yeah, I'm going to film how we do it. I'll let you know if it tastes nice. So we, sh we shall see. Please excuse mum's washing in the, uh, in the back. So you use a blender, which I was quite surprised about actually. Oh, you so don't you pull your to. oats in. You don't have to. Is if you want them smooth. Yeah. So you've got your oats. Got our little pots out, little Lacrusse. These are very cute. I don't think we ever use these to be honest. And then what are you putting in it? Protein. Protein. Is that something that you do or is that something you're meant to do? That's what I do. Okay. And what flavour is that? Vanilla. Vanilla. Love it. Oh, double scoop. Yeah, just a little bit more. Okay, love oh, that. I'm stodgy. So then you blend the oats and the vanilla protein powder together to make it nice and smooth. And baking powder. And baking powder. Oh, I didn't see you put that in there. Just a little bit of baking powder, maybe like a teaspoon. Yeah. So then you pour the almond milk in and you kind of get it to a cake-like consistency, apparently. And then what are you adding in now? Strawberry drops. Stra oh. And I have Yum. only made this once, so okay. this isn't completely Ooh, correct. delish. It smells nice, doesn't it? It smells really good. Oh wow, we had a lot. Well, I couldn't really, I couldn't really taste the flavour yesterday. Oh okay. It's got vanilla and strawberry. And what's this one here? That's vanilla. Vanilla. Oh gosh, we probably don't need any more vanilla, do we? Mm. Or maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't so know. we're going to put chocolate in it as well. So the chocolate that we're using, we have this cupboard in our house, which is literally full of just like sweet treats. So I think we're going to. Crush up a little whisper bar. I mean, this has really gone from quite a healthy snack to a very unhealthy one, but you know, I'm here for it. So now everything is going into the little pots. I feel like we have done this a bit of a weird way in like this tiny little bowl, but it's fine. And then, oh, Hannah also put the chocolate in. I missed that bit. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, it is the moment of truth. Let's dig in. Okay, it's not gooey. It's not gooey, I can't lie. They're not supposed to be, um, I don't think. Are they not? It's baked. No. There we go. Oaty. Smells good. It's a little bit later in the day now. It's like it's nearly food. two o'clock. Oh, maybe I just need to clock that. Um, so yeah, it's nearly two. Hannah and I are about to go on our shoot day. We're kind of shifting it because it's so cold outside. It's like literally minus one. Mm -hmm. But then I have to remember and I have to remind myself that I used to shoot when it was snowing up in London. So we're going to be fine. We've got all our like warm props and stuff. So, it'll be good yeah, too. hopefully it will be all good. Let me put the address in. I can't actually really remember where it is that we're going. So the shoot day is done. Sorry I didn't film anything. We were honestly so cold. It was a joke. Like last week was cold, but this week was horrendous. So I don't really know why we've got ourselves some iced tea, but here we are. We've gone back to Pearls. I feel like I literally did the exact same thing last week, same time, but it's just delicious. And I really liked the one that I had last week, but I've gone for more like bubbles. I think they're called Popping Bobba or Pearl. Actually, no, I think they're called Pearls. pearls. They're called Pearls. I'm <laughs> getting it confused with Bubbleology because they call it Popping Bubba. Um, but last time I had this, 
I had a caffeine high. Like, I was literally sat at home. I think it was maybe like an hour later and I was just like, oh my God, I feel like the world is gonna end. It was like, it was so dramatic. But what I do is I do a little taste test. Could I please have a straw, hun? Oh, wow, it's there. Oh, what have you got? I Tell have everyone. mango fruit tea. You know they do some milk tea? Have you ever tried the milk tea? I've never had. No. I've got mango fruit tea, large one, of course. Probably gonna get a caffeine high, like, like Beth said last week. Um, and then I've got double strawberry pearls and then single passion fruit pearls, which I've never tried the passion fruit pearls. Have you ever tried passion fruit pearls? No. Oh, I don't know if I just got a strawberry one or a passion fruit one then. Mm. Oh, I can't tell them apart. I think because I'm drinking passion fruit drink. Oh, there we go. I just got a passion fruit. I can't tell. I really can't, but they are absolutely delicious. So we're gonna head off home now. I think we've got a roast dinner when we get back. I know, it's really weird. Here's the man oh, the God. Made me jump. That always happens. Literally scares the life out of me. Oh, no, it's going off again. Right, turn that down. We have roast dinner on like the weirdest days of the week. Like a Friday is not really a roast dinner day, but that is, that's our family and that's our mum for you. She's just spontaneous. God, we're both on a coffee hike. Hannah's been having a mad one. I'm, I'm starting to feel anxious. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. How are you feeling now, coffee gal? Caffeine gal? I'm feeling quite, quite nice and full in the tum. Why is that so over his face? What the hell did you even just say? Full in the tum. <sighs> full in the tum, hum. Hum, hun. I'm gonna have a bath, I think. So what I'm gonna do, I normally finish my vlogs on a Friday, but I'm actually gonna film up until lunchtime tomorrow because I really want to show you my lunch. So we've got a little ZZ's collaboration, which I'm very excited for. Um, so they've got like a Valentine's menu, which I'll tell you all about in tomorrow's vlog and I'll show you what we got. So I won't say goodbye. I'll say see you in the morning. Hello and welcome to the little extended part of the vlog. Like I was saying yesterday, we have a really exciting meal planned courtesy of ZZ's who actually, if you're watching this on the day this video goes live, so Sunday, they have got some amazing Valentine's Day meals um, planned. So if you're with, if you if you live close to ZZ's and you can get it with like delivery, just eat, and what's the other one? Oh, Uber Eats. They have like set Valentine's Day menus where there's like a little bit of a discount and it's just like really good, just nice food. If you can't be bothered to cook, and to be honest, like I find cooking really stressful. Like I do try on the vlog, but I just hate it. So if you are wanting to do something a little bit more special today, then maybe have a look at what ZZ's have got. They are literally like my favorite restaurant as well. Like I love ZZ's so, so much. So when they said, oh, do you wanna, um, you know, have a meal on us for Valentine's Day? I was like, yes, please. Like this honestly has made my entire weekend. Um, it's also quite bright and sunny outside today, which is amazing. I just feel like this is gonna be a really good day, a really lovely weekend. So yeah, let's get some food, honey. So the ZZ's has arrived and it looks absolutely delicious. So we've got a couple of pizzas that we wanted to try and then I've got my pasta, which I always get with this, which I think is called the Carasetcha, Carasetcha Polo Picante. It's unreal. Hannah's got a carbonara and then we've also got some desserts, but I'll show you them a little bit later, but how absolutely delicious. I'm kind of living for the lighting in the dining room. I maybe should film here more. Um, so that is the ZZ's meal all done. I don't think I filmed desserts. No, I definitely didn't because my family decided to be little pigs and eat all their desserts before I even had a chance to film them. So apologies about that. But a huge thank you to ZZ's for kindly gifting us that lunch. It was amazing. Um, I am gonna end the vlog here because the video is literally going live in like 12 hours or not even 12 hours. A little bit longer than, in under 24 hours is what I'm trying to say. So I need to get this over to my editor before he kills me. So thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's vlog.